Well, hello, welcome to Bubble Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. Says so, right? Someplace. Someplace. I'm going to start it in someplace, I'm sure. Yes. I can take my underwear off, but I'm not wearing any. Uh, over your head, no doubt. Yes. Uh, well, listen, uh, this Welcome week's back. Where was I? We weren't, both weren't here last no, week. That's true. We, we had a rerun on last week for technical reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. We have to do that sometimes. Uh, last week was Negroni week. We put last year's Negroni show on. And it was very popular. Uh, our, radi- our numbers were up seven times their usual amount. Really? Yeah, we had seven people. Seven more people watched. Yeah. That's good news. So it was good. And now, Negro- I noticed a lot of things here on the table. I don't know what those are, Michael. You know, well, you know, actually, we shoot ahead of time, uh, but uh, uh, so Negroni Week is actually over. That's over. But Thursday was National Gin Day. Oh, I'm so we missed that. Well, and here we are. You know, we taste we, every week, as you know, on this show, we taste something. We taste something. A variety of liquors. And this past week, I was in uh, El Coralitos, which is a state steakhouse. It's about two years old. It's in uh, El Paso. It's on uh, Mesa. Just a little north of Cincinnati. Yeah. And great steaks. And, uh, and since you don't like steak, it doesn't matter. But uh, at the end of the meal, they said, uh, you get free flan if you have an after dinner drink. And I'm thinking, I feel like having an after dinner drink. Why not? And I did. This actually is my fa- favorite. So I have Sambuca. This is my favorite Sambuca. They didn't have it. But they did have uh, Romana Black, which is kind of similar. And uh, uh, it's a, I got it. What, an after-dinner drink? It's an after-dinner drink. It's sweet. It's solid. Most of these are 40% alcohol, so they've got a kick like scotch. Uh, some of them are 38, but mostly it's pretty much like scotch and gin. Except, so what's the flavor base? The flavor? Well, the flavor, don't you understand what Sambuca means? Well, no, I don't. Neither do I. But uh, do you understand what anise is? Yes. What is it? That is the licorice flavor. Oh, yes. So it's licorice flavor. They're all licorice flavor. Yes. Not yeah. fennel, but anise. Yes, anise. They're anise weed. And, okay. and this, too, even though it's Galliano, it's not called Sambuca, it's got a strong licorice flavor. And yes. it's really refreshing after a meal of steak. Right? Michael, there's nothing refreshing about the flavor of licorice. Well, okay? why don't we sit, try it? Nothing. You no. Don't, you don't, no, I don't want to try it. How about steak? I won't try steak either. You don't eat steak. I don't eat so, steak. So you're saying because you don't eat steak and you don't like uh, no, the two, this. No, the two aren't, uh, are, are, are mutually opposing. Well, I, don't, I don't drink we'll, this because we'll, I can't stand the flavor the show. of licorice. Let's not argue. We'll, we'll just go on with the show and we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe by the time it, you know, you're know you ready for it, uh, you'll be thirsty. I highly, I will, well, I highly... I, you will see what happens. I'll, I'll never be too thirsty to drink that. Now, Michael. <laughs> we you said you drink anything. We had a historical it. event happen in Las Cruces. We did. One of you the mean longest, when Bill Clinton was here? No, one of the longest running restaurants in Las Cruces is no longer here. My brother's place closed its doors after over 40 years in business. What did your brother do? Well, both brothers, the, oh. Gut- the Gutierrez brothers, Steve and John, opened my brother's place in the 70s. When I was in college, I went there all the time. And, uh, they had because they're they so saloon. close to school, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I knew the bartender. Uh, and yeah, it was just a great place to yeah, go. Oh, yeah. Uh, you never had Sambuca uh, there, did you? Uh, no, I never did. Uh, they had food, then they finally opened the restaurant, and uh, we go it's there a on a s- Saturday morning. Have, uh, they had good stuff, and you had uh, and, uh, and they Quavos Rancheros. Them. Yeah, and uh, or as we call them, gone. cowboy eggs. Cowboy eggs, and it's going to be torn down to make uh, a parking lot and an annex to the Amador Hotel, which is amazing because they have that under construction building across right across the, the street. street that has been under construction for that's not a picture How many of years? that. For at least five years. This building is an actual building, which you can actually just turn to somebody else, but no, they're going to tear that down. Tear that down. And you know what that's going to do with the street traffic there? I don't know. Nobody knows. I don't know. So, you know, El Paso has horrible highway stuff now. I was there today. It's gross. Yeah. It's terrible. Gross. So my brother's place is gone, but, uh, you know, it's not, it's a good thing for the brothers, the brother that's left, John. And uh, he... It's good? He was, yeah, it's he, like retirement, He right? was looking for a way to retire, and he made a deal with the city. I guess he sold the property to them, and, and everybody's happy. It used to be their dad's drugstore, right? It was, yeah, the city drug. City drug. So, yeah. you know, I think alcohol is very similar to drugs. Well, in a certain way so, it is, yeah. sure. And uh, so uh, there's, there's another restaurant I, I went to finally. It's been open for a short time called Salude. You finally went? I went there. It's been open... A few weeks. A month. A few months, whatever. Uh, I had a nice dinner there on Friday. What'd you have? Uh, the chicken with the. Uh, I did the have a chicken dish, yeah. Stuff with uh, spinach and, and artichokes. Uh, 
and artichokes yes. and asadero cheese. Yeah, it was that's quite so good. I enjoyed that. I heard that's good. Uh, every, all the food Bob, we had was good. Bob Libby also liked that, by the way. Yeah, everything we had on the menu was good. The only, only problem... Well, they don't use plates? Yeah. <laughs> we ate <laughs> off the menu. Oh, we ate off the menu. God, that's really must. Now they don't, have a, they don't have their wine or beer wise, license yet. And that's why we're and, we and being New Mexico, it'll take them six months to get it. You know. They said it's going to be here in June. What month are we in now? Never. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They can't start ahead. You got to wait till your business is going and then work there. Right. Now, so are we still talking about food? We are because I want to. Would mention, you like a drink before uh, we go? No, well, no, no, not right now, Michael. Please. Okay. After, after right, you. Try. Well, no, I'll wait until you're ready. Do you like barbecue sauce? Do you like uh, barbecue? I don't. I don't like smoky barbecue sauce. Well, you know, because you know, if you want to eat smoke, you might as well eat your mother's cigarettes. When, when you have barbecues, the sauce is the boss, as they say. And but it's very important what the sauce is made out of. Yeah, you know, it's a, usually tomato based. If it's bar barbecue, it has a different definition. Barbecue sauce. You can different sauces like teriyaki sauce. Right, that's soy different sauce. from barbecue yeah. sauce. But the traditional barbecue sauce, it's a tomato base. It's, usually, it's got a little vinegar in it. Uh, got smoke flavor in it. Are you reading this? And yeah. Um, yeah, but what molasses, you, what you, you sweeten, say, yeah. what you sweeten it with is is the most important. Uh, molasses, brown sugar, maybe honey. Those are the three. In my book, the only three things you should uh, sweeten barbecue sauce with. Now you go that's to, it. Huh? That's it. You, you go to certain restaurants, or you look on the grocery shelves for barbecue sauce. No, they don't use that. So, yeah. so when you have barbecue, you don't have it on what most people know as meat. You have it on chicken and vegetables. I'll, you know, like a barbecue chicken sandwich? And, and little uh, vegetable patties or something? No, I don't do a lot of oh. that. Uh, a barbecue chicken sandwich, you know, it's chopped up chicken with barbecue sauce, some mm -hmm. onions, some pickles. Yeah. It's great. Onions, pickles, it's barbecue great. sauce. But you go to a place like, um, say there's a, there's a chain of uh, barbecue places in El Paso and around called Rudy's. Yeah. Fact, it's rumored they might be opening up one here. Yes. They, they they sell barbecue sauce by the jar that they use there. Yeah. Sweetened with. Where are you going here? Corn syrup. That's the cheap and lazy way to do it. Uh, you go to uh, there's a barbecue joint in um, Alamogordo and Ruidosa called. Uh, what is it? Called? it? Uh, Cracker. Can't, can't, stand, can't, Cracker. can't stop smoking. Can't stop smoking. What, what are they? What are they using with a high fructose corn syrup, which is even worse. So you're saying Rudy's low, uses low fructose? <laughs> yeah, zero oh, fructose. Right. Look, low fructose. But is that what Rudy's has? Low fructose yeah. corn syrup. Is, uh, yes, I guess so. But it's still GMO corn. Oh sure. my, you never know. It's just well, a you know what? Easy way to do it. Uh, first of all, barbecue sauce has uh, so much other flavor. It, rare, you wouldn't know it. I mean, maybe we should do a barbecue sauce tasting. You may not be able to tell by the you flavor. You don't want to drink. You don't want to eat it. You actually convinced me to go to uh, White Rock uh, tonic water because it has sugar and no high fructose syrup. Right. You were or right aspartame. about that. You were right about that. Okay, well... I'm not saying you're right about this, because... You're not uh, saying I'm right about I'm anything not, else but that. No, I'm not saying you're right about that you can tell that there's high fructose syrup in uh, barbecue sauce, really. And, you know, and it's one of the Isn't things... it just as bad as eat, to eat artificial smoke? I mean, that's in barbecue sauce. Well, who says it's artificial? <laughs> okay, is what, it what is just as bad to you know, eat smoke? That's a new one. What is smoke flavor? We're going to have to find it's out what that is. It's made out of smoke, sodium nitrite. No, and there's one other thing that barbecue sauce should not have as a flavoring. Licorice. A flavoring. What? No Did licorice. You, who has licorice in it? That well, would be bad. You better not have it in there. How about citrus? Would you do citrus? <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah. How about wormwood? Wormwood would be instead good. Instead of vinegar, citrus might be good. How about vermouth? Now look, Father. This oh, is we got to show. We have to do a show. What oh, do we do? Happy Father's Day. It's Father's Day Sunday is tomorrow. Neither of us have fathers. We had. Well, we, we don't know where they we're, are now. We're orphans. Yes, we are orphans. Uh, That's why we have to do this show. Anyway, happy Father's Day to For those the money. who are fathers and have fathers. Yes. And um, speaking of fathers, uh, the Monsignor. Well, the Monsignor. What's who, a Monsignor? Monsignor John Anderson. He does a show here. Called, oh, that's right. You uh, know, I know when he cross. was uh, a Mon Junior. Mon that's Junior. how long ago I right. And he's retiring, you know. So I didn't know that. He uh, will, will no longer be doing that show, but there will be a new show apparently with him coming on yes, soon. Yes, there's going to be a hiatus of a month right. after this show this week or next week. He'll probably have a little vacation. Mm -hmm. And so if he retires, does that mean that the station is going to give him a pension? Oh, no, he's not retiring from doing his show. He's retiring from being a Monsignor. If we retire from doing the show, could we get a pension? Do you know what our contract says? Well, I, 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 I don't know what yours says. Mine says definitely. <laughs> definitely. I read a, the fine print. You mean a pension for drinking? <laughs> a pension. <laughs> a you pension mean, for drinking, yeah. yes, that thing. Right. Oh, so, so Monsignor is... Uh, 
leaving. Okay, well. And coming back. Uh, it should be interesting. Notes from the cross. It might be notes from the easy chair now because he got tired of doing it that way. Yes. No. You know, he usually sits in a chair. But maybe it'll be an easier, more comfortable layout. Well, we'll he see. won't be as much under much pressure, you know. Well, the folks will have to tune in to see. Now, speaking of an easy chair, I think Stan Rounds is going to be spending a lot more time in one. That's right. You know, he came in here when we really needed him 10 years ago. And when he came in here 10 years ago, he was interim. And everybody said, well, we're going to get somebody else. But it turned out he was the best one. Everybody complains about him, first of all, because uh, they cut uh, salaries. You know what? He doesn't cut salaries. The fact that we don't have money helps us cut salaries. That's just the budget. Yes. The other thing they were complaining about was he didn't uh, call off school this past winter during a snow day. Oh. You know, speaking about putting in 10 years and listening to nothing but complaints, I don't blame him for wanting to resign. Hey, here's a complaint I have, Stan. All right, you never got an education here. Well, I'm a victim of the American education yes. system. It's not my fault how stupid I am. <laughs> But those school zones that. that blink when there's no need for them to be blinking. And you have to slow down to 15 miles an hour when there's not a child in sight. School hasn't even been released yet. You know, children are very small. You might not see them. And they have crossing guards school. there for that job. Yet, they blow the whistle at you. No, that's to get you to wave at them. Oh. They don't do anything all day. And they like zoom to by. This is their chance to be Queen Elizabeth, you know? Oh. They like doing that stuff. Okay. It's Queen Elizabeth. But stand rounds. You know... <laughs> People who have crummy jobs and have to be a manager of stuff, even though they're well compensated, well, he, very would, well he compensated. would have gotten, had he stayed out his year, he would have gotten like $210,000. He agreed to leave, well, okay, he doesn't have to work the whole year, $140,000. Would you quit here for one hundred forty? I wouldn't. Well, he's got he's to finish out his contract at the end of the year. No, he? he's out by the end of this month, I believe. He has to go out, he still has to go back east to do a seminar of some sort for the school system. Whoa, that's a real tough job for 140000 uh, All, that's all good. You know, paid. It's not the most expensive we've been screwed in this town with. All the people pulling... Uh, How about the uh, previous uh, one from Harvard that was the superintendent? Oh, she lasted she was about a year. bad, a yes. Oh. We had to pay her her entire contract. Right. So I think he turned out to be a fairly nice guy. Everybody hates their bosses, right? And he was the boss of everybody. Hey. Who are you, the boss of everybody? Well, what about... Oh, well, yeah, he was the boss of everybody. What about our producer? We have, a, we have a boss? Oh, can you imagine that guy? He's in the control room right now looking at us. Well, Watch I'm him. not going to say anything Switching. until he signs our paycheck. That's going to be a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long Don't time. hold your breath. Okay. So yeah. who's that guy? Oh, that's the guy who's taking over from oh. Terry Dean. Terry Dean's the new interim. And uh, like Stan Rounds was, interim. Yeah, interim, and they're going to be looking for it. They have to do it officially. You know, yes. they, they do this with uh, NMSU. They, they spend a lot of money on these searches. Yeah, right. And they cost up at least Thousands five of figures, at yeah. least fifty to $100,000, because it's hard to put an ad in the paper. Or many on the internet. You know, journals on the internet. Yes. Well, then they have to fly people in, interview them. That's true. All that nonsense. Wine and dine them. You know what a good place to go to to take them? Where? My brother's place. It's oh, very, yeah, they should do that. What's your brother's name? Robbie. Oh. Hey, uh, you know, uh, the election. Uh, what election? Not the school board election. How far did we go? Oh, okay. But the election well, we uh, that we far. just had yeah. uh, last week, you know, the uh, we had... It wasn't that great of a turnout, but it's been worse in Doniana County. It's, it was better than uh, four years they're, ago. They're, calling, they're, you know, they're very happy with the turnout here. Anywhere else, it'd be an embarrassment. But no, no, 25% 24, for, a, uh, for a primary is pretty darn good. 24,000 people voted. Uh, the Democrats had uh, 16, over 16,000, and the Republicans had 7,000. 7, mostly because, at least with the Democrats, there was a contest. The, the pro, who's the one that won? Oh, the pro uh, Sanders, who didn't win, uh, uh, club people were really aggressive, and then the pro Hillary people to fight back. You know, if we did, if we only Hillary was on the Democratic ticket, people go, well, why bother going? And the Republicans, uh, pretty much 80 percent of them came out to vote for Trump. I think that's good to show that you're supporting him. I think 10 percent voted for Cruz, and uh, but why? You know, why vote though for those other candidates? Well, because you got to show that there's opposition. I guess so. Well, we're almost out of time, Michael. Uh, and, I, and 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 you have so to do you want to drink? Oh, they, oh yeah, this uh, Los that? Pinos. That's an, an, that's that other restaurant just opened. It changed its name. It's over there on the corner of Madrid and uh, Mesquite. Well, it's, it's Mesquite really, but Solano also right in between. And uh, it just opened, and and 
It's a, it's chicken based primarily. Pollo dishes. It looks it's like pretty good. El pollo loco. Arroz con pollo is right there. They oh, barbecue the chicken. That's kind of stuff I like. Yes, yeah, so you would eat chicken. I would eat that. Do they have any beef there? Oh yes, they do. They have hamburgers and. Is that a hamburger? It looks like a lettuce. Sandwich you have to go there and fish. check out it looks the like menu. A fish thing. And but they don't have uh, this kind of. They don't have cocktails, Michael. And oh, I, so you, you. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to drink that. Okay, when we come back. You can't make me drink when that. When we come back, we'll see what you're going to say. We got to take a break now, and uh, the second half of the show, we have the famous director, Teddy Aspen Sanchez. He oh, will be here in the second half of the show. Director of the Nerd. Yes. Running right now. Well, we'll talk see about in that in a few minutes. Soon. I'll see mm. you in a few seconds. Oh, I see you right now. Hi, I'm Cheryl Burke, and I have a confession to make. I have a serious crush on my workout. Hip, fun, and always a challenge. Jazzercise is the total package. It's the only workout that I've ever truly loved. Does it show? That's because I'm in the best shape of my life. What a difference Jazzercise makes. When's the last time your workout swept you off your feet? Find a class near you at jazzercise.com. Celebrate, celebrate, Fiesta Motors. Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors, we're buying a car, is always a celebration. And we're back. This is Double Talk. Uh, who's the, where'd you I don't from, know, Ted? man. You know, you turn people, your head for a second and people get into your show. Well, people who watch this show rec recognize Ted because he's been a, a, the co-host in he, the past. He, he was co-host uh, way before, before I was. Right? And, yeah. he, and he sits in for you sometimes, Michael? And and he sits uh, in for you sometimes. I'm back fresh from the Betty Ford Clinic after the last time I co-hosted uh, Double Talk. Oh, good. Talk. So then, yeah. then we're ready to well, do that. I understand you've been, you've been in, uh, in and out of Betty Ford more times than Gerald Ford. Apparently so, yeah. You, can't, right? say yeah. That. you can't say that. D's here. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's not nice. Yeah, Today we're being uh, recorded in front of a live studio audience. Uh, thank you very uh, much, man. Uh, one or two, it depends. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And, Here, uh, clap, clap. Yes. Now, uh, Michael, uh, I'm going to have to let uh, Teddy yeah. drink this. I will not drink that. You know how much I hate licorice? Oh, come how on. How dare you bring a licorice-flavored drink on a day when I'm here? You know, it's only licorice. It's not when you were a kid. You must have. Did you have a bad, did you get a hangover when you ate licorice? I had to drink orange, uh, yellow licorice flavored medicine as a kid. Like this? It, like it, this? Yes, it looked exactly oh, like great. that. It tasted a lot like that. And ever since, I could not stand the smell or the taste of liquid you know, in any form. We're here to get people over their, their aversions to things. I'm not going to do it, Michael. No, this is aversion therapy, Marky. Aversion? No, I won't yes. do it. Aversion therapy. Don't pour me one. I forbid it. Give that to him. I will not give have him, that. Make him drink it. Give it to him. Give it to him. Oh, my God. That's the worst, Mike. How dare you? you that's it. I'm walking off this set. That's it. I'm out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, really? Yes. The microphone's you gone. Can't get out of here, man. Get, just <laughs> rip that microphone right out of here. Good. I'm going to take this microphone. I'm going to hang it right here. Oh, good. And oh, I walk man. off this show. You know, if I knew it was that easy, I'd bring Sambuca every show. All right. I, I would. Well, Teddy, it's just you and me, and uh, we're going to talk about you're doing a play at the. Uh, at the Los Cruces Community Theater. Is that on the downtown mall? That is. 313 North Downtown Mall. Aren't there a number of uh, theaters on downtown there, there, There's some great uh, theaters downtown. How do you tell that downtown. one from uh, the others? Well, the Black Box has that cool marquee sign. Oh, yeah, that's The Rio true. Grande's got that cool neon sign. And you're at Los Cruces Community Theater, we've sign. got that big tree right in front of our marquee. That's true. You're, you're right between everything, aren't you? Yes, we are. Uh, so the play The Nerd has been, this is the third time I've seen it in this community. You know, it's what's necessary is to get the right guy to be able to do it. Mark Cooker, remember him? Yeah, I was in, I was in it, it with the. Who? You were in that one? Well, uh, not at the you community the theater. I was in the second run of it. With uh, with uh, was that uh, 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 Richie? It's you? the Rick Stedman okay. Show. Oh, okay, great. Who? Yeah, welcome. Who? Talking Who? about nerds, yes. Who? Who? <coughs> Who? What? Who's the Rick Stedman? Are you a famous writer for the New Yorker? Oh, I'm you an architect. Are, you're an <laughs> architect. Really? Well, you certainly didn't plan this too well, did you? You could have planned it a little better. 
you know. What's this? Uh, no, well, so we're on a show called well, Double Talk. Have, uh, would you like to have a, a part of our uh, little thing that we do here, yes, which is would. tasting things? Yeah, it's, the it show's called taste. Double Talk, but we're going to walk out here with Double Vision. This stuff is made out of purely organic materials, except for the artificial coloring and perhaps, uh, I don't think it has uh, modified uh, cornstarch. Uh, we're doing Sambuca, which is a, this is a, oh, look at that, the nerd. Hey, yes. I think somebody took a drink of mine. Well, he was sitting here before you, so I don't know. I think I poured this one. Do you remember D, our director? The director is supposed to keep track of this. Continuity. Uh, this is uh, one called uh, Ramazzotti. It's Sambuca. Sambuca is an Italian uh, after-dinner drink. It's a little sweet. I'm sure you're going to love this. Do you like, what do you usually drink? Water? Milk? So, did you ever have licorice when you were a kid? Oh, yeah, a couple were you of ever, times. Were you ever a kid? How long ago were you a kid? Well, I can't remember. Really? Well, how you doing? I'm Teddy. Oh, let me introduce Teddy. you. I don't know who you are. No, no, Teddy. Huh? Letty. Yeah, yeah, Teddy. Teddy? He doesn't look furry, does he? I've seen Teddies that are way furrier than him. Why? What was your name? I thought he, I thought he said Reddy. Ready. Well, I'm ready He's to ready. sample. He's, He's ready. Uh, yeah. So your name. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. My name's well, Sambuca. You can call me whatever you want, I guess. Oh, jeez. Except Jesus. what? Jesus. That would make me sound like I was from the Bible. He's in the Bible? Is We're on a baseball team, at least. Is that a play? I don't know. The Bible is a play? You can call me whatever else you want to. I call you late for drinking a cocktail. You ready for this? Give, the, give it a sniff. What does it smell like? Yeah. Or, as we know from Mark, it smells like licorice. It's licorice flavor. Oh, wait a second. Before you drink that, don't, don't drink these. What is that? These are coffee beans. You need three coffee beans in your Sambuca. It makes it real. Theodore. Is this the same gimmick Bill Cosby used? They kind of float around <laughs> there, don't they? Yes. And you're far more attractive than... Oops. I don't want to do too many. They float around... And they give it a little bit of flavor there. Eh. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nobody else wants it. Well, slangeva. Oh, you don't just sip it. Just sip it. Don't don't kick it back, okay? Otherwise, you'll get a coffee bean stuck in your throat. Mmm. Wow, it really does affect the flavor. <laughs> does it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it smooths it out. It, it mellows does. it a little bit. That's interesting. Because I'm, I'm like Mark. I'm not a big black licorice fan. No, but, you know, there's more herbs, as with most of the things when we taste stuff. Uh, wow. This has got 40% alcohol. Did your vision just clear? Because mine did. <laughs> we don't need these stupid glasses. Um, oh, no, I need mine. Me too. 40% alcohol. Not bad, though. Smooth. Uh, you know, we talk about amaras, we talk about uh, gins, and they all have different uh, uh, herbs in them. And this too has <laughs> this too has a lot of herbs, not the kind you may want. <laughs> you taste the herbs? <laughs> Just want to get on the same level as you. Did you like that? Was that pleasant? Put your hand well, in your chest, doesn't it? Let's not. This is my favorite one. And if we don't have time for Galliano, I know people people are a little bit averse to Galliano. Well, I think everybody's been to a bar that's seen a bottle of Galliano, and I think nobody Galliano ever knew. Is, it's Italian for a it's big Italian. yellow bottle. Yes, it's used for Harvey Wallbangers. Did you ever have a Harvey Wallbanger? Wall did you ever? That? You don't. You don't even finish yours. We're not getting you anymore. It's a. Screw it had a licorice taste to it. <laughs> Did it? Black or red? It's funny water. Black licorice? Funny water. It's candy. I thought you'd like candy. Did you spit your coffee out there? Is that a nosebleed? No. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's give this a shot. This is uh, <laughs> Molare and uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Probst. Molinari. Oh, that is smooth. Well, wow. I get too close to your eyes, you can feel the alcohol burn your, your eyelashes yeah. off, but it is smooth. Uh, let me get some water there. Put it, oh. You're right? Yes. Put the Stop, water. drop, and roll put after the, that one. Yes. 
<laughs> Pretty good. Well, maybe we'll save it. Do we have a few more topics to go through? We do have some topics to go through. Are you ready, Ted? Well, that's it. Ready, let's, Teddy? Let's do it, yes. Is he ready or Teddy? What's his name? You remember? Ready? Teddy. Teddy. He's ready, Teddy. Ready. You ready? Ready what? Are you Ricky ready? What? Huh? Ready? Ready for what? I don't know. You asked the question. What question? Do you want to see fireworks on uh, July 4th? You remember fireworks? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, fireworks! Do you like fireworks? Great, great, do you, great, do you, great. Do you shoot fireworks off by yourself, or do you just watch the ones in town? Well, I kind of have to now. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you will be able to do fireworks on flat surfaces like uh, pavement and uh, barren land as long as you have water by you, and then you could do it. And otherwise, you're stuck with watching whatever the city puts on. Um, what else is happening? Oh, Tortugas turtle races start. Oh, you like turtles? Did you ever have a pet turtle? No. Well, here's your chance really. to go steal one. Uh, Lady of Guadalupe. On a he was more of a friend than a pet. Did you ever kiss him? No. Well, that's smart. Anyway, uh, June 24th to about the 27th, they're doing turtle races at Tortugas, the uh, church Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, what else? Oh, you know, it's Father's Day. Tomorrow, <laughs> Father's Day tomorrow, as well as, I have to read this because I have no memory because of what day it is tomorrow. Okay. It's Hallmark, National Martini Day. National Martini Day is tomorrow, the same day as National Father's Day. You think there's a reason for that, Father's Day and Martini Day? Because fathers, you know, to make it through fatherhood, got to drink a lot of martinis. The day after, which is uh, Monday, is National... Ice cream soda day, as well as national vanilla, specifically vanilla milkshake day. That sounds great. Sounds pretty good. And you know what comes after that, which makes it really appropriate? National Sprinkles Day? I don't know. Close to sprinkles. First day of summer. Oh. So it's good to great, you know, inaugurate great, great. ice cream and soda. I've been working on my soda. summer body. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, what do you do for that? Do you know where your pecs are? Oh, no, sure, sure. Oh, okay. Do you have pecs? Anyway. Um, you know, uh, going to the gym, stuff like that. You go to the gym? No, not really. Do you lift weights? Do you, do you jog? You said you're, you're working, uh, make a muscle. Do you know how to do that? Ouch. It's really hard. You, you really work out. That's it's what pretty she tough. said. <laughs> so... Uh, the nerd is coming up. It's here. It runs uh, through. Uh, he, it's the he, story about Rick Stedman. That it in, Rick is indeed. Stedman. Actually, it's a story about <laughs> Willem Cobbert. Rick uh, Stedman just kind of comes and uh, it's creates It's the a Rick Stedman show. It is indeed. It's running until June 26th over at the Las Cruces Community Teddy's Theater. Teddy's the director. Also, next week is the opening of uh, The Real Thing, a Tom Stoppard play over at yep, the Black, Black Box, Box Theater, as well as Ringo. this. Do you like tacos? Oh, sure. Who wouldn't? Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. It's Tequila and Taco Day at Halo's Bar on Locust. Five high-end tacos, or five high-end tequilas with tacos. And that's about it. Open mic on this Tuesday at Palacio. Come see us. Uh, watch us on YouTube. You can get old shows on YouTube. You get new shows on YouTube. We will see you next week. See you next week. Thank you. Whatever your name is. What's Rick. your name? Rick. Okay. The Rick Stedman. And